Hi guys, happy Tuesday! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Stashkina and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make baby's bread flowers using wafer paper. Quick note, if you're watching this video live or today on Tuesday, my wafer paper academy is open for enrollment, so check the link in the description below if you wanted to learn how to work with wafer paper flowers and create modern cakes using wafer paper. So let's begin. So let's start with making our baby bread tiny flowers you can see using wafer paper. For this tutorial I'm going to use this regular wafer paper which is 0.27 millimeters. You can use anything from 0.22 to 0.25 millimeters. And I need a few tools. I'm going to use 26 gauge wire and I will need my scissors to cut my beef paper. So to cut my beef paper flowers for my baby bread, I folded my beef paper in first because I find it's easier to cut when I have three layers. And I'm going to cut roughly about one and a half centimeters strip of beef paper. So about this much or it is going to be about a little bit less than half an inch and this method i'm going to show you today is very versatile you can make flowers larger or smaller up to you or depend on your needs and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut my wafer paper and create one and a half centimeters or half an inch by half an inch squares so here I have my wafer paper squares. I'll take my 26 gauge wire and I'm going to cut my wire in four pieces. And then I will take regular pliers. You can use your fingernails and create small hooks on top of our wire for wafer paper to stick to. So I have four of my wires. And I'm going to create these four closed hooks using just a pair of pliers. Here I have my four hooks, my wafer paper pieces, and I'm going to use my wafer paper conditioner, which is acetonic. I have a recipe down below. For this technique, you can start with using just water if you don't want to make my conditioner, but I highly recommend you to try this. And because I need just the smallest amount, I'm going to put the drop on my table and take my brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create my first layer for my flowers is base layer. So I need four squares for four wires. And basically what I need to do, I need to apply a small amount of this conditioner on the bumpy side of my wafer paper. And that's it. What I'm trying to do is just saturate this enough with the conditioner to make it flexible and not break when I'm going to attach this to my wire. So next step, I'll take my wire, insert in the middle of my square like this, and then I'm going to press it together or squish it together to create some sort of shape, something like this. And I'll use a piece of foam to set it aside to dry and I'll do the same to all my four wires. So I'm placing, you can see, I'm placing this in the middle and then squishing everything together. So this is my first layer and it goes really fast. So you can make your other flowers this way. So I think this method will work for carnations, or any tiny flowers you want to make. I'm using green wire because I'm still going to dust my stems and cover in green floral tea, but if you want to make it white, you can totally do that. And then I need to add two more layers to each flower. So I'm going to take four squares. This is going to be my second layer. And the method is the same. So I'm taking my first wire and bringing everything together, trying not to make it flat and not to be attached to all places. So I'm pinching this in a different position, not like the first layer. 
and same for my last layer and I'm applying my conditioner on my bumpy side but it's up to you if you want to dust your flowers with the pearl sheen after you're done you can definitely use shiny side or smooth side is your face side for your flower and same for the last layer just pinching everything together but you can see that now my flower is looking a little bit fuller because I'm not trying to squish everything together if I have some places where I can see my wire or I don't like it I can either use my Dresden tool and bring it together or I can use a pair of tweezers and just pinch here so my wire is now covered so i'm going to set it aside to dry for a few minutes before doing the next step now that i have my flowers fully dry you can see how fluffy and beautiful they are i wanted to make them a little bit more round so i'm going to take a pair of sharp scissors and just cut here on this sharp corner so i'm going to round the sharp corners and give it a little trim to make it look not square but more round like this now my flower is a little bit more rounded than it was before and i'm not paying a lot of attention to that i just cutting any sharp corner that i think affects the way my flower is looking like and I actually prefer to see this green wire in the middle because like real baby breath flowers you can tell that insides are light green but if you wanted to use white wire you can definitely do that and now to assemble all my flowers together and put them in an arrangement I'm going to use half with light green floral tape and I'm going to tape each flower stem down about maybe inch inch and a half now that i have my flowers taped together and you can see i've created quite a few of them i'm going to tape them in an arrangement to make it look like a baby's breath flower so i will take three of my flowers first and tape them together leaving about inch and a half of the stem like this then I will take three other flowers and tape them together and maybe two more. So my goal here is to arrange them in the groups and now I can tape these groups together. So now I have three groups again. So I'm working in number three groups together. I'm going to tape here. And I'm going to take a piece of 20 gauge wire to be is my stem and to help me to put everything on one wire. And now I can place them and open up a little bit and bend every wire the way I want it to. So this is my first part and I'll assemble another branch, little branch maybe two groups of three as well and I'm going to attach it to my main wire so here my group number so I'm going to place it here and tape them together and then I'm going to tape this to my stem wire or my 20 gauge wire you can see that you can make these flowers relatively quick especially if you need to create a filler flower for your arrangement and it's going to work great for any flowers like roses especially for wedding cakes just play around and make it look nice and full and you can see we created this baby's breath branch in almost no time the last step if you wanted to make it a little further and you want to make it even more fancy i would say i'm going to use a touch of petal dust to dust my stems and just to make it look more cohesive 
So to dust my baby's breath, I'm going to use two colors. First, I'm going to use my favorite color Fern by The Sugar Art because I think this color works great with color of my tape. So that's why I prefer to use this color when I'm working with a light green floral tape. And what I'm going to do is just to lightly dust and touch the bottoms of my flowers. I find it's easier to do when they are already on a wire or they are already arranged together. So this is just like a little bit of color to make it look not so stark, like papery white. And you can tell that this color is very concentrated, so be careful how much you want to apply. So you can tell it's just a subtle difference, but a little bit goes a long way. And if you want to bring this color onto your floral tape, it will make it look even more cohesive and realistic. If you want, you can touch on top of your flowers. If you see if some of your flowers a little bit smaller, you can touch with a little bit of green. But I personally prefer to add sparkle and I'm going to use this brilliant sparkle, but any pearl color will do for this application. You can see that this color is very sparkly. So what I need is just the smallest amount on my brush and I'm going to gently touch on my flowers. So my goal here is to make this flowers look not like a paper and bring some sparkle or highlights and low lights usually elevates your flowers and brings it to a next level. So even if it's a very small amount, but when you're going to place it on a cake and light will touch your cake and especially with the photography and everything small details like this usually make all the difference when you're making your flowers so now you have it this is my way of making baby breath flowers and you can play around you can open it up or make it smaller larger create more branches and put them together but this is a very easy way to make any filler flowers using wafer paper and you can tell that wafer paper is amazing it's not going to break on you you can put it on any arrangement and you can actually put it deep inside especially if you need to cover some places but i highly recommend you to add just a touch of some sheen or sparkle and then your flower will be shiny and sparkly thank you so much for joining me today don't forget to check the link in the description about my wafer paper academy i hope you will join me there and i'll see you next week same time same place bye bye